Golden Globe nomination for Girl Interrupted, which opens nationwide tomorrow. Let's take a look. Hey, Margie. Hey, Lisa. What's doing? Jax, how's Joe? He's fine. Yeah. Lisa, I have to do my checks. Yeah, and what? Taking five minutes from me would be a dereliction of duty? Huh? Huh? What if I had a punctured artery? What would you do? You just keep going about your rounds, ignore my wounds? Lisa, stop it. Stop what? Hey, look at this. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's enough. Take one step and I'll jam this in my aorta. Go ahead. Go ahead. Stop it. Lisa, your aorta is in your chest. Good to know. Please welcome Angelina Jolie. Yeah, it's a cable wrestling show now. Yeah. I yeah. love you too. Yeah. The, uh, I love you. What did you. What did you do to your hair? This is cool. It's blue. It's, like it's the blue. red, the blue, you know, kind of. Yeah. Blue, you know? It goes together, kind of, huh? Sort of all over. <laughs> uh, I won't do that again, I promise. Uh, <laughs> Put your money in your mouth. That's right. Yeah, no, I can't back it up. Uh, you have. I was, I was watching. Uh, well, first of all, congratulations. This is cool. The, the nomination for the Golden Globe, that's a cool thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, I'm paying them off. That's nice. Yeah, that's a nice thing. Yeah, it's really nice. I saw, you know, I saw the, actually saw the movie last night, and your character really, really stands out. I mean, you do a great job with this character, and your, your the characters you play in, these, in the movies that I've seen you do, I don't know if it's just me, but they're, they're, they're very intimidating. They're on the edge. They're, don't you think they're intimidating characters? Maybe it's just you. Are you it might just be me, yeah. I was intimidated by Fantasia. You know? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Yeah. I can't imagine that. I think you're... I, would, I, I don't think you're, you're as, as decent as you seem. <laughs> Why, whatever are you talking about? Andy knows. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Andy's seen me, but I'm me. saving it for a book. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't write that book. <laughs> Just wait a little while. Make it worth my while. What do you you mean that, that you don't buy this facade? You don't buy this guy? A little this... like decent Catholic schoolboy, kind of like you know, you like... two seconds away from a rubber dress. <laughs> <laughs> You're actually late. <laughs> Rubber dress was years ago. I There's moved a on. hayloft in the back. What is that? We're getting to that. We're getting to that. Hey, all are just Stay tuned for the hayloft. <laughs> no, we're, we're threatening to turn the show into hee-haw at any moment. <laughs> uh, no, that's probably... Yeah, so you, do you think guys like... Do you think that's just what's boiling underneath the surface of guys like this? I hope so. Yeah, good. Because <laughs> otherwise, <laughs> that would be pretty sad. Yeah, I think everybody's... everybody's Everybody's got to be just more than they are. Everybody's, I think we're all just a little repressed. We're all just held back a little. If we could all just be a little more free. I am not just a little repressed. I am. I think you need help. I'm the national spokesman for repression. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll work on it, though. We will. Uh, I, um, I was reading a lot of stuff about you today, and one of the articles, they always say where it takes place. One of the articles said, we caught up with Angelina Jolie at a cigar bar. And I was curious, is that, do you hang out in cigar bars? Do you, I know it's okay, a new it's trend. It's so hard not to make a joke right now, isn't it? <laughs> Why? I can't. Help me. I can't smoke cigars without playing with them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Throwing them around, exactly. playing darts. Yeah. <laughs> well, do you go to those kind of? I mean, innocent. Just <laughs> yeah, right, right. Well, no, I know that it's a, it's a, it's a craze right now. I know that there are oh, a lot yeah, of guys that are into going to cigar bars and stuff like that. I just didn't know if women were into it too. I, I yeah. <laughs> okay. Wherever you can, you can wherever you can get a cigar. Okay. <laughs> Let it go. Uh, let's talk about the movie. Now, in this movie, it takes place in a mental hospital. And when I saw the movie, I didn't realize you guys used a real mental hospital. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. They were. Uh, it was. Am it was amazing to shoot. I mean, it's an amazing. It's amazing to be in a place like that, just to be with these people that are that are separated from society, and that you're supposed to think these people are normal, these people aren't. And you know, I couldn't tell the difference between these people and the crew. 
anytime. And, uh, and uh, we use the insane here the amazing too. Yeah. And, you, and you, we'd see these people, and you know, we're we're changing. They're inside, and they've been on medication. And these and these people are just. We're all dealing with reality just as you know carefully as we can. And we're out there painting the grass green, and then the next day we're just making it snow, and it's winter. And I ran into one person, and they said, where's the real Whoopi Goldberg? And I saw Winona Ryder. Is that Winona Ryder? Is it snowing? Is it? I mean, we, they were so, because it's like, it looks so strange to see, like, Who Whoopi Goldberg walking right. by. And right. have, you know, and I, it was just, it was such a weird, because we were changing the seasons and doing, we were just, we were completely insane. And they, by the end of it, I'm sure, thought, they were fine. Right. <laughs> well, I think it would be, yeah, it's kind of unfair to the people in a mental institution to make it snow, fake snow. I do all that, but it's not snowing, it's just fake snow. Yeah. Just for them to be near a film set is very, very strange. But, it's, but it was an amazing, an amazing place to be. Just to be confined with people that t for that long, mm -hmm. you, you just get to know each other on this amazing, it, just with the other girls who are amazing. All these yeah, girls, Jillian, Clea, everybody. And Whoopi, the one thing I had, I know it's a, just a quick visual, but Whoopi's hair, it, I know this takes place, the movie takes place in uh, 1968. After all? Yeah, this giant, I mean, it's just this, it's huge in this thing. Do we have a still of Whoopi's hair in this? It's just like, <laughs> she's keeping her luggage in there. What? <laughs> I'm not really one to talk right now, am I? <laughs> no, I think it looks good. Thank That's you. cool. I like the blue hair. Thank you. What's wrong with the blue hair? No, I love, yeah. I, I just think Whoopi, I just dig her. She's just funny. She's, yeah. just, she's great. She's very her cool, hair, man. her everything. Uh, <laughs> you are, you're nominated uh, for the Golden Globes. You've got to go to the ceremony. Are you, are you bothered at all by having to pass Joan Rivers and that whole fashion thing that they do at award shows now? I am, actually. I've, I've, I've avoided Joan Rivers for a while. I, I go to her daughter just because I don't, I don't want to hurt her. <laughs> I think she'll avoid you now, too. No, I, you know, I, I, think, I, think she's, I think she's actually, I'm sure she's a, you know, it's, 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 it's comedy and it's humor, but it's, right. it's just, it's, you know, it's because of, because of criticizing things that people actually are careful about what they wear and, right. it, and it just, it creates repression. Right, which is where I come in. <laughs> <laughs> With my suit and tie. Yeah, uh, so, so well, you don't look like you're bothered by that, Kenny. You just wear what you want to wear. You don't, you don't seem like someone who'd be bothered by that. By no, but pressure. I wear the same thing every day, I'm, you know. What? What do you like to wear? Leather. Walk? Just, that's about it. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. We have the Married with Children audience here tonight. Uh, <laughs> always nice when they can stop by. Uh, Girl Interrupted opens nationwide tomorrow, and congratulations. Thank you do you a great so job much. in this movie. Angelina Jolie, everybody. We'll take a break. Robert Europe.